Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Catherine Holland. I am Catherine Holland of www.catherineholland.co.uk and my business is Indestructible Soul. Connecting your soul with your physical body here in this life. In this episode, I will be presenting my philosophy for my business, Indestructible Soul. Why indestructible? I thought for years I was just a really unusual person that, um, not so much lucky, although some people called it lucky, but I never got ill. And I knew that I was making some decisions about my diet, especially about my breathing, that were really influential with the state of my general health. Um, but I didn't realise until recently, because I've been doing some research and because there's an awful lot more publicity and knowledge and awareness of what makes you well, that actually it's a repeatable system. Um, I am also just publishing um, a book, Indestructible Soul, How I Decided Not to Die. And in the writing of that, it really brought home to me the deliberate conscious things that I had done that made the difference and meant that my body had all of the constituent factors that it needed to remain permanently well. So what I would like to do is to explain to you, if you're interested, how you can go about this. And it's um, repeatable. It's different areas, it's stages, it's a decision, it's a choice. You make it work for you by doing it the way that it appeals to you. People have this notion that you have to have um, deprivation, that you have to have hardship, that you have to deny yourself wonderful things in order to be well. But of course that's not true, because those things that are going to make us well going to make us feel wonderful. So when we're talking about food in particular and also what we drink is, is another very important area that people really struggle with. Uh, well and exercise, they really struggle with the fact that you must do things that you don't like in order to get to where you want to be. And of course there is some element of it because you have to make the decision, you have to make the choice. But the actual progress and process of it is delightful and we feel well, we, we don't ever need to sacrifice and you do have to think ahead, you have to make decisions about where you're going to eat, how you're going to eat and you have to make a measurement in your mind about how well you've eaten today and whether the um, social benefit of eating out with friends or having fish and chips or whatever it is that you might feel is not as good for you as the conscious food that you've been eating. Sometimes we make those decisions and certainly I do and I feel that the amount and the number of times and the number of meals that I eat as well as I possibly can means that from time to time it's absolutely fine to go and join with other people eating something which I would not consider to be particularly nutritious and sometimes also I really enjoy it because of nostalgia. Um, if there isn't a really good dish on the menu and I go out to eat I will choose something that I know that I'll like that perhaps might be reminiscent of my childhood or the way that I ate before or things I particularly loved and then not worry about it and just eat well when it's possible for me to do so and to weigh up and balance out how often I need to do that to feel as well as I do because it is truly wonderful. So over the coming weeks I'm going to be presenting ways to you that you can live healthily, that are adaptable, they're doable, they're personalised for you, you make the decisions about which things you like which things you don't want to try, it's all absolutely up to you. And what I would say is it is possible 
to live a superbly healthy lifestyle, including your tastes. You've got to enjoy it. It's really important. Life is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be enjoyable. Do what feels right. Listen to your heart. See you next time. Goodbye.